Jim delivers newspapers. He gets paid ten dollars for every day of work plus five cents for every paper he delivers. Which of the following graphs best represents Jim's possible income for one day? Now we know that Jim here is paid ten dollars regardless of how many he sells or how many he delivers. So right off the bat we know that it should start up start off at the income should be at ten, even though the number of papers is at zero. So this here A is a possibility. So is B, so is C. However, D is not a possibility because according to D, he makes no money in the beginning for selling no papers. So D is not a possibility. And we know that he only makes five cents for each additional paper he delivers. Now five cents is not much compared to $10. So five cents additional, as we increase the number of papers, five cents is very, very little. So we're thinking that the slope should be very, very not, not steep. So choice A looks reasonable. Choice B here, he's losing money as he delivers more papers. This doesn't make sense, so choice B is eliminated. Choice C is quite steep, and the idea of him making so much money by the time he sells five papers, he's up to $25 to $30 is unreasonable. By the time he sells five papers, he should be making simply uh, five, five cents times five papers, which would be 25 cents, which is approximately $10, 25 cents. And when I look at graph A, by the time he sells five papers, he looks around that range, around $10 and just a little bit. So choice A is correct and reasonable. Choice C is unreasonable.